Hey everyone, this is Caroline Plans here with another video and today we're going to be doing a Fobo Nietzsche and Happy Nietzsche spread and I really wanted to get on this trend because I've been seeing it everywhere on Instagram and on YouTube and here we just have a happy planner with half sheets and all the pages look the same. It says notes on the front. And today we're gonna to be doing a inspiration spread. So if you've seen some of my monthly spreads for the inspiration layout, it will be about the same in here. So let's get started. I'm just gonna take these out. And today we're gonna to be doing a simply lovely theme. Okay, so we're gonna start out by just decorating with some roses right now. And I'm gonna try to make this a little longer video with some talking, because I'm kind of experimenting with what kind of videos and content I'm gonna be putting out there. And I just wanted to update you guys on where I'm at right now, because you've all been on this wellness journey with me. So I just wanna let you know that I reached out for some extra help this week for my bipolar disorder and I started a therapy program. So I'm excited to let you guys know how that goes and hopefully I can tell you guys some of the things that I'm learning there for my mental health. So I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on. So these are kind of the main theme of Simply Lovely, which is roses, some more delicate things like swans and hearts. It's a really beautiful theme. Let's see, I haven't really made a long video where I just talk with you guys about what I'm doing, but I've seen much, much longer videos, maybe like 40 minutes long. I'm not sure how long this one will turn out, but we will see. Let's see, maybe do, this is gonna be kind of random. So we're gonna do different wellness categories on this and see how it goes. I've never done this before, but I've heard that people will make these with Happy Planner products because the actual Hobonichi is very expensive. I don't really know too much about that. Do a little search. I definitely don't have enough money to invest in an expensive planning planner right now. This was about $10 on Amazon and I'll put the link below. I don't know how many roses we should do guys. Should we just stick this one on here? We're gonna put some boxes on top of here. Ooh, this is a big one. Look at this one. Oh boy, look at that. Should we cover up notes? Because I don't think it's really gonna cover up too well. That's all right. Got a lot of leaves left on there. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about these leaves, to be honest. Maybe we'll save that and see. Okay, I like how this is coming out so far. So we're gonna do categories. We're gonna do, let me see, I wrote it down. Weekly goal, healthy choice, affirmations, daily reflection, the best part of your week, self-care, and quote. So for that, we're gonna do these little boxes right here for each day of the week, and then from here, from the farmhouse book for Happy Planner, we're gonna put a little banner on there so I can write the different categories. Okay, so let's start. So we're gonna put seven down and I wanna keep this, I'm gonna put a banner up there. So yeah, I was kinda nervous about telling you guys about what's going on with me cause you know, I wanna be like, oh, I'm better now. You know, I got treatment and I'm better now, but I still feel like I need some extra help. And I've been to this program before and it's basically like an outpatient program where you do different therapy groups, where you're sharing with people, you're meeting with a counselor, you're meeting with a doctor and 
you're basically just focusing on yourself and your stability and that's like what I need right now I have the summer off from grad school and I just want to get myself in a good stable spot for the fall semester so that is what I'm going to be focusing on right now is getting well and I was like trying to do it on my own kind of just like taking a break from everything and just relaxing working a tiny bit but I really needed to reach out for more help so I can get some more tools for stability and I will talk to you guys more about that as well and the things that I learned because hopefully they could be helpful to some people or even like family or friends that you know Okay, so right now I'm just going to put the banner on the top so we can cover up where it says to do today, to buy, because that is not what we're doing right now. So each one of these is going to be a different category. And this is going to be the week of July 1st. That's next week. That's when I'm filming this, the weekend before July 1st. So you need a ruler, definitely, when you're doing this kind of spread. I'm going to freehand a little bit of this, though. So we'll do three and three. So I'm just going to put a little banner that says week of. And then we're going to put numbers on these boxes. Oops, it's getting stuck. Okay, so for a banner like this, you basically make a little triangle and cover it and fill it in. This is an erasable pen because I do make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes, so it's all right. So you just make a little triangle and then you go out like that so it looks like a little banner. So I went out here and in and out. And you got a banner. How cool is that? So we're going to do week of 7 1 19. Beautiful. Okay, so each of these is a category. And my category is written down right here. If you want to take a look. Just kind of trying to see what I wanted to do. So we have weekly goal, obviously whatever you want to work on that week. If you want to work on your sleep, your eating, your exercise, any kind of habit you want to work on, healthy choice. So anything that you did with eating, maybe you ate really well that day. Um, if anyone has suggestions for healthy breakfasts, by the way, that would be great because I'm so bad at forgetting breakfast and not having the proper food. I had a burrito for breakfast today and I'm not ashamed to say that, but I need some help with that. So affirmations, basically self-talk that's positive. Daily reflection is something in AA. It's like a reading and... I try to read it every morning and it's kind of something to start your day and it just has something to do with sobriety and it's usually reflects the AA text which is the big book okay so oh the best part of your day I like that I like the best part of your week also Saturday will be self-care and Sunday will be a quote Okay, so that's that side. All right, so on this side, we're gonna do steps and gratitude. So we're gonna take two boxes. Let's do, should we do red or black? Oops, that a little bit. Red or black? I feel like 
Red. Let's just do it because it matches. And I ripped this. Should I just pretend it looks fine? Yes. Okay, perfect. So let's use one of these. Steps. And gratitude. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. I really like gratitude and I usually pick something that has to do with the day and gratitude could be anything. It could be you're grateful for the sandwich you ate. You're grateful for, I don't know, having no traffic that morning. It could be like anything that you want to do. It doesn't always have to be like, I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my friends because I kind of like to think of what I'm going through and the little things also. I've just been taught that for a long time. Okay, so then I think we're gonna put a habit tracker. Where are my habit trackers? So I think that would be a good idea if I could find it. Oh, here we go, I had it in my hand. Okay, so let's do black since we didn't do black. So we'll just do our habit for the week right here. Let's just do one habit to focus on. Okay, and let's put a little more decoration and then we're gonna put some numbers for the days of the week. And I think this came out really well. Usually I do this in the monthly format, like I said, but I kinda like that, oh, ooh, that's cute. I really like these bows. Can we put a bow over here? No, I don't wanna cover that up. That's cute. You can see that this we need something here don't we let's do one of these um take the risk or lose the chance i like that that's kind of where i'm at right now gotta try new things come up with new coping skills kind of revamp things a little bit which is where I'm at that's okay because wellness journey will be a forever process okay so here I have look how fancy this is letters and numbers okay let's see if we can add a couple more decorations let's see oh I forgot about these hearts that are so I'm not usually like a delicate kind of person who likes these kinds of stickers, but I love the roses. I've really gotten into florals since I've been planning. I think that looks really good. You know, I don't really like, oh, it's ripping. Okay, you stay there, that's fine. Maybe we could add one of these in there. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah, there's a lot of white space down here. Okay, I think this looks great, guys. So let's put them on here. So every day I will fill out the categories and ignore these little bullet points. Okay guys, I zoomed out a little to show you the entire Fobo Nietzsche Happy Nietzsche spread that we have here with weekly goal, healthy choice, affirmations, daily reflection, best part, self-care and quotes, and then we have the steps, a gratitude, and a habit. So this is what we're working with for next week. And I hope you guys enjoy this spread and how I'm kind of experimenting with a longer talking video. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.